Hi guys, welcome back. This is Maths 3000. Today I'm going to show you how to draw out a scatter diagram. So let's go straight into the example here. So here are the test scores of 10 students in Maths and English. So we've got to complete a scatter diagram. Okay. So we've got the marks in Maths which range from 0 to 100%. And we've got the marks of the 10 English students as well, which again go from 0 to 100%. Okay, so first of all, let's draw out our axes. So we're going to put the maths marks going across. Okay, so we're going to go... Oops. So if we go 10 centimetres across our page, and we'll go along in 10s. Okay, so these are maths scores, and on the y-axis we're going to do the English scores. So again, if we just do the same scale and go up in tens, so every centimetre is 10%. So that is English. Okay, and then it's a little bit like plotting coordinates now. So student A got 70% in maths and 60% in English. So we go to 70 on the x-axis for maths. And then we'll go up to 60 from that 70. And normally most people put a little cross for each student. So student B scored 20% in maths and 15% in English. So there's 20 and we go up to 15. Student C got 30% in maths and 30% in English. So if we go up to 30. Student D got 85 in maths and then 75 in English. Student E got 65% in maths and 60% in English. Student F got 50% in maths and 40% in English. Student G 100% in maths and 85% in English. Student H, 45% in Maths, 35% in English. Student I, 15% in Maths and 10% in English. And 60% in Maths, Student J got, and 55% in English. Okay. So that is your scatter diagram complete. Um, you don't need to do anything else. Um, but you may be asked later in the question to draw on a line of best fit or describe the correlation on the scatter diagram. But I'll do these in some other videos. Okay. So if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.